In our useful website series, over the years, we've shown hundreds of sites, some of which are more helpful than others. So to narrow down the list to those that we think are the best, in this top 20, we'll show you our absolute favorite websites that we think are the most useful in a wide variety of categories. First up, in no particular order, is VirusTotal. This site is great as an extra layer of security to your antivirus software to inspect suspicious files and websites. This free service uses more than 60 security scanners to detect viruses along with other malware and malicious content. To scan a file or software you just downloaded to your computer with the file selected, to scan it, you could select Choose File or more easily just drag and drop it onto the page. When it's done, if you get the result here at the top that says no security vendors flagged this file as malicious, then that would be a positive result that you want and would most likely be safe to install with regards to software. Back on their homepage, to scan the URL of a website, select URL and paste it here into the box. Then hit enter on your keyboard or click on search. If you get a result that looks similar to this with a URL or any file, it's probably best to be avoided. As most of us know, there have been a ton of data breaches over the years. Have I Been Pwned is a fantastic website to quickly find out if any of your online accounts have been compromised, putting you at risk. The website's been around for quite a while now and was created by Troy Hunt, an information security expert and a regional director at Microsoft. To use it, enter your email address into the box and click on check. According to this, the email address entered was found in 10 data breaches. When you scroll down, it's in reverse chronological order with the most recent five years ago on what was still known as Twitter. If you still have accounts with any of the online companies listed, if you haven't done so already, you should change your login passwords for each company where your account may have been compromised iFixit is an awesome website for those of you that prefer to do repairs of electronics yourself. This company that sells tools and parts to do those repairs offers free repair guides for popular electronic devices, new and old. Doing a search here at the top doesn't work so great to get the repair guides. Instead, go to Fix Your Stuff and select Repair Guides. There are two dozen categories listed. Let's go with Phone. In the various phone categories, let's go with Apple iPhone. As of the recording of this video, the iPhone 17, which has just been announced, has not been released yet, but they already have placeholders for them. So let's take a look at one of last year's models, the iPhone 16 Pro Max. There's currently more than a dozen repair guides for that model. And let's suppose I needed to replace the battery. So I'll select that. When you select any repair guide, it will show you the estimated time to complete, the difficulty rating, this one's moderate, a short introduction, and the parts and tools needed. And below that are the easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions. I'll mention this one quickly. PhotoP is the best free Photoshop alternative available online in your favorite browser. Some people call it Photopea. The creator has confirmed that it is PhotoP. All of the features are included for free and there is no paywall with a workflow similar to Photoshop. You'll find the primary tools located here on the left. There are some tools located here in the menu bar. It even supports working with layers that you'll find here on the right. As a beginner, if you've never worked with a professional quality image editor like Photoshop, you'll find that you need some help getting started with PhotoP. Thankfully, there are tutorials on YouTube and elsewhere that will teach you how to use it. Next up, Just Watch is now the world's largest streaming guide and free online service that helps you to find where you can watch movies, TV shows, and sports online. It now supports more than 140 countries. It's especially useful if you subscribe to multiple streaming services. To use it in the search box here at the top, type the name of the TV show or movie that you're looking for. Let's go with an oldie but goodie, Band of Brothers. When you see it show up, select it. We scroll down here a bit. It's available on HBO Max, which you can get on your own and it's bundled with other services. And it also shows you where you can buy it. I love this site. Terms of service 
didn't read does the painstaking work of analyzing and summarizing the terms of service and privacy policies of services and websites on the internet. Here on their homepage where it says, I have read and agree to the terms is the biggest lie on the web. That is the absolute truth. Do let me know in the comments if you have ever read the entire terms of service from any company prior to checking the box. After they analyze the terms of service of any company, they assign a grade with A being the best in that their terms of service treats you fairly, respects your rights, and will not abuse your data, and E being the worst where the terms of service raise very serious concerns. It should be no surprise to anyone that companies like Facebook, Amazon, and Google get E grades. And if you select View Details, it will give you all the reasons why. On their homepage, you can do a search for any online company to see their grade. I already did a couple searches. And skipping ahead, DuckDuckGo, which used to have an A grade and is now a C for the reasons listed. And their competitor, the privacy-focused search engine StartPage, has an A grade. Here's another quickie. 10-Minute Mail, spelled M-A-I-L, not to be confused with the hookup site, 10 Minute Mail, spelled M-A-L-E, is great for those times you need a temporary email address that expires within 10 minutes. It's especially useful on those sites that require an email address validation or any other purpose. Khan Academy, with Khan spelled K-H-A-N, not C-O-N, is a site founded way back in 2006 and is one of the best educational sites. Best of all, it's a 100% free nonprofit that is fully supported by donations. On here, students can learn at their own pace in several categories, including math, science, computing, engineering, and many others. In addition to their various courses, they even offer test prep for college entrance exams, including the SAT and MCAT. Down Detector is a website that I keep bookmarked for those times where I'll check on an online service to find out if they're having an outage, or perhaps it might be something on my end. For example, with a cell provider, cable company, streaming service, etc. It's simple to use. In the search box, just enter the name of the service and select it. You'll see the status here at the top. Apparently, user reports indicate possible problems at Xbox Network. There's a graph below with reported issues over the last 24 hours. Looks like it's not doing so well right now. And if you scroll down, if you click into it, there's a live outage map. And if you scroll down even further, you can view comments from other users. Just Delete Me is a must-have bookmark for those times you're having trouble deleting your account with an online company. There should be a special help for these companies that don't make it as easy to delete your account as to sign up. Well anyways, companies that are color coded in green make it easy to delete their account, yellow involves extra steps, and red makes you contact customer service, and black means that you cannot delete your account. How evil. Speaking of evil, let's try to delete Facebook. So just enter the name at the top of the homepage and it automatically shows up. I'll select it, and as you can see, clicking on it is a direct link that will take you directly to the page to delete your account. But of course you'll have to sign in first to that account, and this page will automatically load. It's that easy. If you're just learning the basics of coding, forget about sites like Codecademy, which a lot of people recommend, who are not programmers. SoloLearn is the site for you. In the age of artificial intelligence and people vibe coding with very little knowledge, the site will help you to understand the code better to fix the mistakes, which do happen quite a bit when using AI. While they do offer courses in the most popular languages, Python, C, etc., it's their generative AI courses where you'll likely benefit the most. While SoloLearn does give you the basic standard lessons for free, you'll likely find that it's most beneficial to upgrade to one of their premium plans. I recommend the SoloLearn Max plan for around $10 per month to get the most out of it. Pixabay is an excellent resource for creatives on a budget with more than 5.7 million royalty-free images, vector graphics, videos, music, and other stuff in their collection. I primarily use this site for images, and I appreciate that various sizes are offered for download. All content on their site can be used for free for non-commercial and commercial use, while giving credit to the creator of that content is not required, it is appreciated. 
Unsplash is a secondary free source I use when I can't find what I'm looking for on Pixabay. This site is great for high quality images as well. It offers various sizes prior to downloading. On Unsplash, their license is very similar to Pixabay. All images can be used for non-commercial and commercial use, and attribution is not required. Camel Camel Camel, founded way back in 2008, is an Amazon price tracker I've been using for many years. It's useful for determining the right time to buy. I primarily use this and other sites to buy computer parts and has saved me, if I were to guess, thousands of dollars over the years. In the search bar here at the top, you could enter the Amazon website URL for the product, or you could just do a search right here. When you click on the product description, it'll open a new page. And if you scroll down, it will give you the Amazon price history. It looks like at its peak, it was $429, and right now it's $369.99. Let me scroll up a little bit. Here on the right, clicking on Add Amazon Price Watch will notify you when it drops down to your desired price. You would just enter that in the box or choose one of the percentages here and then enter your email address and click on Save. Alternative 2 is a fantastic resource which helps you to find alternatives for desktop computer software, web-based software, and mobile apps. They recently had a redesign to their site that makes it look a lot more modern than it did. Up here at the top in the search bar where it says find an alternative to, enter the name of the program. I'll go with Photoshop and select it. You'll now see a description of that program. It's hard to believe that Photoshop was first released way back in 1987. Now to find alternatives, scroll down and it lists GIMP. It's a free and open source program won't cost you any money. Right below that is a really good one that only has a one-time fee. It's called Affinity Photo, which for many people say is a lot better than Photoshop, so you might want to check it out. Alternative 2 is just a recommendation site. You can't download any software from here. Make sure you always download the software from the official site. Do not ever, ever, ever use a third-party site to download software. With that out of the way, let's move on. Prior to starting any new video game, how long to beat is useful to find out how long it might take to complete that game based on player data. The game you choose to play might depend on whether you have a busy schedule or extra free time. To find the game, do a search here at the top. Let's go with Baldur's Gate 3. Select it. According to this, depending on your play style, it would take 72 hours to finish the main story and up to 175 hours if you're a completionist. On this page, you can also get additional information that might be useful for you. I'll mention this one briefly. Small PDF is a great site to go to when working with PDFs with more than 30 tools to choose from. They have tools to convert PDFs, compress PDFs, they have tools to mark them up, tools to edit, and a whole lot more. For free, Small PDF gives you access to more than 30 tools, but there is a limit of two document downloads per day. For unlimited access, their individual pro plan is $15 per month, and they have a plan for teams for 2 to 19 people that costs $12 per month per seat. Earlier, I mentioned Solo Learn to learn the basics of coding. If you want to take things to the next level, Coding Game is a fantastic way to improve your skills in a fun and interesting way. It lets you code browser based games with more than 25 languages to choose from. Best of all, it's 100% completely free. When you start out, they have a handy tutorial that will help you when getting started. Just simply follow the directions. I'll leave the rest of this for you to discover on your own. Wolfram Alpha is a computational knowledge engine that answers factual queries by computing the answers from externally sourced curated data. Unlike AI from ChatGPT, Gemini, etc. that often makes mistakes, the site only gives factual answers. You can literally ask it anything. Let's compare the TV shows Flintstones versus The Simpsons. And you'll see in this example, it has the basic information, images, timeline, uh, summaries, and a chart. Wolfram Alpha is great for learning math, and there are various categories and subcategories. So to find out what else it can do, just click into the categories and subcategories. The next time you're simply looking for answers that are factual, give Wolfram Alpha a try. 
Nineite is an awesome package manager that can save you hours of time when setting up a new Windows PC. It lets you install multiple programs at once, and for home use, it's completely free. Let's scroll down here. Simply select the programs listed that you want to install on your computer. There is no limit to how many you can select. So let's go with Brave, 7-Zip, VLC, Media Monkey Handbrake, Visual Studio Code, Blender, GIMP, Earth and View, ShareX, LibreOffice, and Steam. When you're done with that, you may need to scroll down and click on Get Your Ninite. I won't be doing this now. Just go to the location on your computer you saved it to and run it to install the programs you selected. And running that same file again at a later date will also keep all of those programs up to date. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description. If this video helped you to discover a new site, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. If you know of a useful website that could be beneficial to others, let us know about it in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and hit the bell to not miss out on our latest useful websites videos and other stuff here on Pop Gumbo.